My name is Haley, and I am a doula and the owner of Diamond Doulas. And I have a super big passion, and that is teaching people that they do not have to fear birth. Birth has been portrayed as one of the most painful and excruciating experiences. If you see birth in any of the movies, even sometimes in shows that us birthy people like to watch, like Call the Midwife, birth is portrayed as something super, super painful and something that needs to be done for you. And that's not the case. Birth has been happening for the entirety of the existence of like birthing creatures and it doesn't have to be painful it doesn't have to be something that you dread it can be fun it can be joyful and for some people it can be orgasmic and ecstatic I haven't experienced the orgasmic birth but I have experienced joyful birth and I have experienced pain-free birth and I want people to know that it's real and I want to help guide and foster people into having a good experience with their birth. And even if you do experience pain, it doesn't have to be suffering. You can notice that something hurts and not be consumed by it. And I think that's one of the points of my mission is to have people feel like they're in control of their experience of the pain or the intensity not necessarily in control of the experience because birth has its own way of doing things and sometimes things don't go according to plan which is also why i don't like to use the word birth plan when i'm with my clients because plan the word plan and not going according to plan kind of leads to feelings of failure and there is not failure in birth there is just things happening differently than you would like. Um, and sometimes there's things happening amazing and it all works out the way you wanted it to, which is great. But I want people to have a good experience. No matter what direction their birth takes them, I want them to have a good experience. So we're going to talk about birth and the beliefs surrounding birth and how you can unpack your own beliefs surrounding birth and look at it objectively and kind of pick new things to believe in and to remove the fear. And then to think about new positive ways to have these experiences and to learn how to dive in. So I was going to stop it and I'm not going to, and then I was going to cut that out and I'm not going to, because I like to be real and like one take, I want to have this experience with you and you know, I'm a real person. So even as a doula, sorry, I'm going to get my notebook. Even as a doula, when I was pregnant nine and a half months ago, and then, you know, like the 10 months before that, I would see the ads of certain companies and be like pain-free birth no way not me like I'm not that person like some people might be but not me and really even then I had doubts even though like I know like I've seen the videos I studied all of the different types of birth and I had seen it happen but it just seemed a little like maybe one in like a thousand people has that experience and maybe it is that because I just realized how many babies get born but it doesn't have to be so rare and I would like to show you how. So I want you to think about all of the experiences you have surrounding the explanation of birth. Think about stories that your mom has told you or best friends. And if you feel like writing them down, you can. I'm not the whole story, but like key points that make you remember which one you're talking about. And I want you to remember that that is their experience. Everything that they experience and that they speak is through the lens of their life and their beliefs. So if they believe they have a low tolerance of pain, Yes, they might have evidence of that, but if they believe that they have a low tolerance of pain and they believe every movie they watched about birth and how everyone's screaming, 
then even if their experience wasn't actually that painful, they probably got caught up in the idea of the experience being painful. And I just want you to see any of these on paper and crumb if you want to rip it off and crumble it up, like look in your mind and throw it out of your mind. Everything that you have learned about birth is someone else's experience. And even this is someone else's experience, but you get to choose the beliefs that you have. If you want to choose beliefs, don't you want to choose beliefs that might help you and have you have you have a good experience? If you pick beliefs that have fear, it's not going to be fun. Think about jumping into a pool. You're afraid it's going to be cold and you hesitate. We've all done it. I mean, if you know how to swim. Most of us have done it. And it's that moment right before you jump in. It's the, oh, is it going to be cold? Is it going to be cold? Like, that's the part that sucks. Like, jumping in, like, it might suck for a second. And then you're on to just swimming around and your body gets used to it. It's very similar to that. You anticipate. It's the anticipation of a bad experience that causes the bad experience. Um, it's also the thing that causes the good experience. So if you anticipate something, it actually activates the same, the same part of the brain as actually getting it, but it activates it more. So if you're anticipating something good happening, most of the satisfaction that you get out of getting that thing comes from the anticipation and the looking forward to. So I think that's something really special about birth is you get to remember that this baby is on the other side. And even if you've just had a horrible time being pregnant and you're just like, yeah, I'm excited to meet the baby, but I'm so ready to be done being pregnant. That's on the other side of labor. Like you can look forward to that and cling to that because you're not going to be pregnant forever and you're not going to be in labor forever. It's a finite thing. Um, and an analogy that I was talking with someone last night about. But some people who are landlocked might not get this. If you have been to the beach, then you will know this. If you go swimming and there are waves and you want to get to the other side of a wave, going to the surface and staying on the surface and just trying your best to get over the wave is a uh, not a hundred but maybe like 50 times harder than just diving right into the wave i will draw you a little a little tiny diagram in case you have no idea because <clears throat> so if the wave's coming at you and you tap you try to go over it yeah, it'll start rolling a little bit. You try to go over it, that's going to be so much harder than just jumping in and then coming out on this side. And I feel like dealing with contractions is a lot like that. And I think we can work on how to get to that level of understanding. But if you dive in, if you embrace birth, and you embrace the contractions or the waves or whatever word you want to call it. To me, it doesn't really matter like that much. Like contraction isn't a negative word. Your muscle is contracting. Like your uterus is squeezing itself and it's releasing itself. Like it's just biological. So if you're experiencing contractions, if you fight it and you run from it, for one, you're working against your body and what you're trying to do to be done with this whole experience. You just, like, you're fighting it. It's like someone trying to hand you money and you're like, no, 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 like waving your hands all around all crazy, but you could just put your hand out and get money. It's like that, except for it might be a little painful. Um, yeah, that was a weird analogy, so you're going to have to bear with me sometimes a little bit. I'm a little bit silly. That's just me. Um, I also haven't really talked about this at length yet. I've written about it, but as far as conveying the message verbally, it's my first time like really laying it out there. 
and I want to help a lot of people, and so I'm going to be authentic. Um, yeah, anyways, if you don't fight it, it can be a lot easier. It will still be hard work. Labor is hard work. It's probably one of the hardest things that you've done. And it doesn't have to suck. <laughs> you can just do the hard work and then all of a sudden you have a baby or you're done being pregnant. And that's that. <laughs> At least labor's over. Like the finish line is right there. The finish line is just like get through this contraction. And then like the bigger finish line is just get through labor. And bam. So dive into the wave, don't fight it, and try to recognize the beliefs that you have about birth currently. If you want to write them down, you can. If you want to send me an email with them, we can talk through them. And this goes for if it's your first baby, your second baby, your fifth baby, or any of those in between or more. Anyways, stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching.